When we last saw the Pinatatar, she was being brutally scolded for hacking into some of Agent Otaku's most top secret documents. But Lloyd was no match for her salty peanut tears, so to make it up to her, he agrees to buy her a dog. But Anya is surprisingly picky about breeds, and these chad hounds aren't going to cut it. Not wanting to spend the entire day shopping, Lloyd fakes a stomach ache, but he only gets a few measly hours of peace before... Disturbed, Lloyd escapes to work and learns that some teenagers are plotting to assassinate the foreign minister. The rest of you losers can go do whatever the hell you want. Now, normally they'd leave this sort of thing to the amateurs, but in this case, their plan was to strap bombs onto the backs of puppies. Adorable, innocent little puppies. Ah, what? Ah, how are you Maybe this one's not entirely innocent, but he is cute, aren't you boy? <laughs> Meanwhile, Anya is finally starting to realize that cats are infinitely better in every way to their murderous canine counterparts. Oh, speak of the devil. <gasps> I guess she's getting a dog. Anya follows Dogsan into a creepy abandoned building in an attempt to dog nap him. But before getting shanked by the puppy bombers, Dogsan bravely comes to her rescue. See? Wouldn't have this problem if she'd just get a cat. You'd save me, right, Frank? <laughs> Congratulations, you've won 10,000 free V-Bucks. While they wire money to a Saudi prince, Anya makes her grand escape. <laughs> So is yours. But where was Lloyd all day during Anya's time of need? You've got to be kidding me. Hi, Buraya. This you've won ten thousand free V bucks. Wow, they're really handing those out today. While disrespecting personal boundaries, Anya discovers that Dog San has the ability to see the future. And this is where things take a very dark turn. The future that Dogsan sees does not include Lloyd. Anya finds his mangled body in the wreckage of a puppy bombing. Determined to change the future, Anya mounts her noble steed and runs in circles again. By the time Anya teaches Dogsan how to turn right, they are almost completely out of time. At least she thinks. Anya can't exactly read a clock. Using advanced anime running techniques, Anya makes her way to the Lloyd trap. No, not that kind of trap. Anya vents her way inside and begins defusing the bomb. On second thought, maybe she can just leave them a note. That'll do. Anya having saved his life, Lloyd was now free to go steal the foreign minister's clothes and face, which he uses to bait the puppy bomber out of the crowded city so that nobody would see him commit the most unforgivable crime. But Lloyd missed, with the first two shots freeing the puppy bomb. That was totally wicked! And the third... But at least the dog's okay. While fleeing from Lloyd's bad hair day, the puppy bomber. Oh, yo, turn that up. What is this song called? Hi, Buraya. This you've won. Ten thousand. Free. On the corner of Convenience Street and Plot Contrivance Ave, the three forgers are reunited. Or 
Should I say four? Hmm. But Anya is still worried about the rest of the dog's safety, so they reassure her that they've all just gone to live on the big farm in the sky. But Lloyd can't help but feel like he's forgetting something. <laughs> eh. Must not be important. Having failed to answer the first question on her entrance exam, you can imagine how stumped Anya was when asked. <laughs> Inu-san walks Anya to the Anya park to play fetch and burn off some steam. <laughs> But at some point, Anya must have dropped her gloves. So Inu-san has no choice but to resort to violence. And that's when it clicked. Or Bond, for short. Bondia do everything together, from watching anime to... <clears throat> Lately, Yora's been coming home late from work, which has Lloyd pretty sussed out, but Anya's just worried about what that means for her dinner. But Lloyd's sussin was for nothing, as it turns out that Yor wasn't out on a murderous rampage. At least not this time. No, she was just taking cooking classes in order to become a better mother, wife, and sister. <laughs> Great. Now all that's left is to try it out on the forgers. <gasps> on their way to class, Anya and Becky discuss politics. <laughs> but their heated debate gets interrupted when Anya spots the second son and begins Operation Chimera. But in her haste to impress Damien, she accidentally drops a second photo, which catches the eye of... What was your name again? <laughs> In today's Eleganto. education, the students form groups to create 3D animal art, and yikes, seems like she didn't understand the assignment. <laughs> Having finished her assignment early, <laughs> Becky provides Anya with some inspiration. Well, that's actually spot on. Damien attempts to make a griffin, but in his infinite wisdom, didn't even remember the jet boosters. So Anya graciously helps him out, and the duo win top prize. But even this... masterpiece isn't enough to impress Damien's over-caffeinated father, who won't even be returning home for the holidays. Lloyd, on the other hand, is a little too easily impressed and won't stop bragging about Anya's accomplishments at work. But beating her jump rope record is the least of Anya's worries. While driving down Plot Contrivance Ave, Anya realizes that her midterm exams fall on the same day as the lunar eclipse. And as everyone knows, that is the one day a year when Peanutians revert into their legumial form and lose their ability to read minds. Knowing she will no longer be able to cheat, Anya turns to her mentor for advice. Daddy's hurting. Wow. Bond's future seems pretty f***ed up. I wonder how Anya's taking it. Hamburg! Get there! Mama. Left with no other options, Anya does the unthinkable and sits down to relax slash study. Lloyd, having absolutely no faith in his peanut brain daughter, dresses up as a teacher to break into the school and adjust her answers. But as they say, great spies think alike. Agent Aho is on a super secret mission to ensure that Damien Desmond fails his exams. And thank God that Aho was there, or Lloyd would never have stood a chance at getting inside the tower, past the guards, and into the safe. <laughs> That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. After fixing Damien's test, Lloyd pulls out Anya's. It turns out Anya's relaxing slash studying paid off, and without anyone's help, she achieved the 4,769th best grade at Eden Academy. <laughs> Click here for more Spy Family in a Nutshell. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.